In this video, I'll show you how I made this Mafia-themed game teaser in 40 hours of work. Using AI-powered performance capture and Unreal Engine 5, I was able to achieve results that would have required an orders of magnitude bigger team and budget just a few years ago. By the end of this video, you will see that these powerful filmmaking tools once reserved for AAA studios might be more attainable than you think. But first, enjoy the film. Apologies for the wait. I had to take care of some dude droppers. <laughs> you ain't a dude dropper, are you? <laughs> Didn't think so. Did you know that one of the most loyal animals in the world are horses? Most people think dogs are the most loyal, which they are. But it's horses you can always depend on. Snakes, on the other hand, are conniving, sneaky, double-crossing. They do anything to wiggle out of circumstances. The complete opposite of a fine stallion. I hope to God you're a stallion. It'd be a shame if you turned out to be a snake. <laughs> Please, you have to help me. He's not telling the truth. Shut up, God. You shut your goddamn mouth, or I'll rip your tongue out and shove it down your goddamn throat. Peace. You're gonna bump me either way. I'm not doing the god thing. He is. Prove that you're a stallion. Prove to me that I can trust you blindly. Please, he's lying. Whatever he's telling you isn't true. Can it? You'd off a guy without knowing if he's truly guilty or not. I have a family. Kids. People who depend on me to live. Mother. Enough with the chit chat. Make your choice. All right, thanks for watching. This short film was actually written as a teaser for a potential mafia-themed game and was sent to me by a viewer of the channel, which was awesome, so thank you. Anyway, for this project, I used my usual performance capture tech stack, uh, so to speak, which included Move Pro, which is Move AI's multi-camera motion capture solution. I'm using six GoPro 10s running at 120 FPS. For the face capture, I'm using MetaHuman Animator, which requires an iPhone 12 or newer. The phone is held in place with a Rococo head rig, which is $300 and totally worth it if you have multiple people using the head rig uh, because it's adjustable. Um, and for the voice morphing, I used 11 labs. You shut your goddamn mouth or I'll rip your tongue out, shove it down your goddamn throat. Peace. Now, a license for Move Pro costs $7,000 per year. This allows for capturing up to two people at a time, uh, but with the ability to add as many as, say, 20 cameras if you want. This is by far the most expensive of all the tools used in this workflow, but you can actually achieve pretty similar results with much cheaper motion capture solutions, including Move AI's iPhone app, Move One, or Radical Motion, which I really want to do a video about. Uh, if you want to know how to do full performance capture on a budget, I have a complete in-depth tutorial right here on this channel, completely free, 
that shows how to get cinematic character animation with MetaHumans. And all this is done using tools that are very cheap or completely free. Capturing all the animations for this film only took an hour or so, uh, but the footage has to be uploaded to Move AI's online platform for processing, where each clip can take an hour or two to process, depending on the length. The face animation is easy to process using Unreal Engine's built-in tool, MetaHuman Animator, but still took a few hours to process all the different face animations. The bulk of the work uh, came from actually setting up the scenes and doing the actual cinematography. Now, I'm curious to know what you think about the quality of the motion capture in this video. I think it turned out pretty good considering there's very little cleanup on these animations, at least compared to what I've gotten in the past. Uh, I've gotten the raw animation to be far less jittery, uh, but I feel like some of these animations could have still used a tiny bit of smoothing on the curves to give them just a little more feeling of weight. Uh, the hands definitely still needed some fixing, but they're pretty easy to clean up using the hand pose library I have built up over time. Now, Move AI is pretty awesome when it comes to capturing multiple actors at the same time since it really gets the actors' positions in space and relative to each other uh, really well. But since I was acting out all the parts myself, I had to correct some things like eye lines, or in this case, the hand position pulling the bag off the head. And I did a few shortcuts to make the process faster. So anything that had any sort of hand interaction happened off screen, like when he hands him the gun. Here you can see I had to hold the cigarette away from my face so it wouldn't interfere with the face capture, and then manually adjust the animation to get it to line up. So I wanted to try out using some MetaHumans from the scan store. They sell extremely detailed scans of people that are easily compatible with MetaHumans, with higher resolution skin and wrinkle maps. They also just look a little less MetaHuman-y, for lack of a better term. Anyway, now, Doing custom metahuman work is still something that is not quite easy or fast enough for me to have incorporated into my workflow yet. So I had an artist do some work on them to get the injuries and teeth in place. Um, here he's working in Substance Painter and I'm not exactly sure what he's doing in this footage, but it looks cool and you get the idea. Now, every mafia movie needs some sort of parable or story about animals and betrayal or something and this one was no exception. Uh, this turned out to be a lot of walking and talking uh, and through an environment with a lot of turns and stairs. Uh, but I only have a small space to record the mocap in, so I just had to walk back and forth in the space and piece the animations together in the sequencer. I also don't have a great way to do stairs. Uh, I can do small stairs using some apple boxes, but nothing like a full staircase. This is definitely an advantage uh, that inertial suits have, like Rococo or X-Sense, in that you can take them in more interesting places more easily. So I decided to try using a single camera solution by Radical Motion, uh, but this was really the best I could do. So yeah, that was definitely not going to work. I ended up just getting an animation from Mixamo and showing a few shots of them going down the stairs. And shortcuts like that just work sometimes. People may say this still looks like a game or still has an element of the uncanny valley to it, which I can totally see, uh, but look where the tech is now and where you think it will go in just a year or two or by Unreal Engine 6. My guess is a lot better. MetaHuman Animator, the tool in Unreal Engine that does the face animation, didn't even exist until last year and now makes AAA quality face animation possible using just an iPhone. It seems clear to me that this medium will grow significantly and it won't be long until more mainstream content is made with it. In fact, the last season of Love, Death and Robots had an episode made in Unreal Engine using MetaHumans. So start learning these tools now, they will evolve quickly. And even if you don't plan on working in the industry in any way, this gives you the ability to create movies of all kinds that you might have had in your head or you know, uh, you know, some concept that you've had. Uh, you, can, you can do that now way, way cheaper than was uh, possible before. 
Uh, I also think there will be some really interesting crossover with the performance capture industry and VR, uh, which is actually a topic I plan to make an entire video on. If anything, uh, it's really good for previs, and I have a whole video that dives into that process right here.